Welcome to howtocookgreatfood.com Welcome to howtocookgreatfood.com Going to be making a Middle Eastern style fish today. I'll just run through the ingredients with you right now. As you can see at the back I've got some sliced onions. It's got a few green chilies there, you could use red if you wanted. And I've got about two lemons worth of juice over there. Here's the star of the show. This is a um, sherry fish, or also known, I think, as an emperor bream in other parts of the world. These have been cleaned, de-scoured. They've got some pretty spiky parts on them as well, so they've been removed. And for our masala, our, our, our rub, I've got here a touch of cinnamon, like half a teaspoon. Here I've got haldi, one teaspoon, or turmeric. Half a teaspoon of chili powder. Then I've got a teaspoon of cumin powder. Half a teaspoon of sumac. I've got some little touch of black pepper. And here I've got some salt. This is lemon salt. It's all gonna be quite lemony what we're doing here today. If you haven't got lemon salt, you can use regular salt. Then I've got some chopped garlic there. And at the back on the right hand side, got half a teaspoon of black lemon powder so all the dried powders we're going to mix together to, to make our, our, our fish rub and then we're going to fry the fish and then separately we're going to fry our onions lemon juice garlic and chili Okay, so as you can see, I've got a pan here. I've got a couple of centimeters of regular oil. I'm actually using sunflower oil. You could use a corn oil or canola, entirely up to you. Now you saw that I um, mixed all of our dry spices together to make our masala. And then it was just gently patted on the fish. So simply now, we're gonna fry the fish. Now we want to get this fish fairly well cooked, want them a little bit crunchy in a way. Only turn them once, there's no need to keep fiddling with fish, once you're frying it, nothing's going to happen, it's just going to cook, so don't, don't worry, people tend to keep turning it and turning it, um, in doing that you'll break it. So let's just come back in a few minutes, keep your eye on it obviously because it's, it's raging, raging with hot oil, so be careful. But um, yeah, we'll turn them in, 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 in a two or three minutes or so. They'll be, they'll be okay. See you then. Here we go, now they come. Oops. So we're just gonna Set these aside and then I'm going to um, put them on some paper towels to drain off any excess oil. And then I'll move on to the next stage, which is the onions and the lemon. Okay, so as you can see here, I've got a little touch of oil in there. I'm using olive oil for this part. I'm just going to drop in our whole chilies and our sliced onions. A touch of chopped garlic. Pop the 
it on that. They're on a fairly high heat. Just cook them for two or three minutes. Just want to sort of let them get a little slightly clearer than they are now and caramel, caramelized a little bit. Then I'm going to add some lemon juice and then it's, it's completely done. See you in a few minutes. Okay, let's take a look at these onions. Beautiful. Exactly how I'd like them. Okay, so our fish are already on the plate. We're going to turn the heat off of this now and simply drop that lemon juice in there. And then what you can do, some people like this poured over the fish or on the side. I'll see you at the table. Okay, so there we go. Beautiful fish with a nice tangy sort of lemony masala. Here's our onions, which is they're just fantastic. Like I say, you can have them on the side or you can pour them over. Just served with a very simple salad. Nice with some kubus, or which is a Arabic type bread. Delicious, delicious, delicious. We'll see you soon. Take care. Bye. How to cook great food.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. For more information, take a look at our website www.howtocookgreatfood.com.